Hey guys, so we're gonna make Christmas jam today and I have a messy, I'm canning a bunch of things, so excuse the mess around here. We're gonna start off in this pot with 40 ounces of strawberries and then 12 ounces of cranberries. This is harder to do than I thought. One-handed. <laughs> Okay, so 40 ounces of strawberries, 12 ounces of cranberries. Then I'm going to add to that. Whoop. I use orange juice concentrate, and I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup there. Now, I am going to, I cannot do the sugar one-handed, so I'll get seven cups of sugar put in there and be back. Okay, so there we have the seven cups of the um, sugar. So now I'm going to add some spices to this. I'm gonna add one whole teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cloves, and then one whole tablespoon of cinnamon. But we like cinnamon a lot, so if you don't like cinnamon all that much, you can use less, but for us, a tablespoon will work. And my spoon got stuck in there, so I am going to dump about a tablespoon. There we go. So, all together we have 12 ounces of cranberries, 40 ounces of strawberries, um, one teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cloves, one tablespoon of cinnamon, um, half a cup of, a fourth to half a cup of orange juice, and seven cups of sugar. You can use regular orange juice. I usually do a fourth a cup of orange juice concentrate, but you could use a half a cup of regular orange juice if that's what you had on hand as well. I really like that orangey flavor. I think it just gives a really good Christmassy um, taste or flavor or whatever. So I will put this on the stove and I'll be back. So this is the Christmas jam that is boiling steadily. So here is the Christmas jam. I just did the plate test and it is all done. So I had it in there, it started boiling, then I used my um, Dasher blender and blended it up just a little bit. I like to leave some chunks in there and some not. So there is some whole cranberries still in there. I like it about 50% I'll mix up and then 50% I'll chop up. So let's go can that. So this is the Christmas jam that I'm canning up right now. I think that it like stopped for a minute and didn't want to go. I love Christmas jam. It smells so yummy. Can you smell that? I was wondering what smells so yummy. Yeah, it smells so yummy. <clears throat> it smells like the holidays, which it's a great to make around that time, but it's also nice to be able to make some up ahead of time and let people open that for Christmas. So the half pints I use for either giving away or selling, and then the full pints are what I use for um, our family. Because we have lots of people in our house. So you are filling these until that top little line there, leaving yourself some head space. And then we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to wipe that down. So right about there. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my cloth and wipe down the rims. And wipe down all the rims. In my jams, I like to have like half fruit and half um, like puree. 
And then I already have my label here. And then I'm just gonna put that on. I like to write on those beforehand. Seems to stick on better than trying to write them after. So we are going to put these in the canner for 10 minutes in a hot water bath for 10 minutes and they will be done and they will come out beautiful and so yummy to give away or to um, sell. They're beautiful. Hope y'all enjoyed.